Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the live stream, or if you're new, watching, possibly on my YouTube channel, or at a later time, this will be known as Keith Condensed. Basically, a little cutout of the actual live stream. I, I rip from the live stream, do a little edit, and then re-upload. So, welcome. This is your invitation to join me on the live stream. I stream in the morning, gaming stream, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then on Friday. At night, I do an investment stream Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And on Saturday night, I give away half an ounce of K-Coin. So feel free to join me on the live stream. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. So today, for those of you guys who don't know, the market did a crazy good. Comp and then also, like, literally on Friday, it did pretty good as well. And today, most of it, that was equated to the U.S. and Mexico reach a NAFTA deal, turning up the pressure on Canada. A. So the United States and Mexico did reach an agreement which puts pressure again puts pressure on Canada to sign the new agreement also uh, This is something that President Trump has been talking about doing basically since he took office and so finally it's here He's basically restructuring the way it has a lot to do with honestly it has a lot to do with the import and exporting of, of, of cars the, the new agreement just in reading this article specifically which comes from Reuters and there he talks about how it's supposed to be like I think like 75% now produced in America So that's like prod that's like like the still that goes into it all that kind of stuff basically to kind of Stop the export and import of what goes off to Asia or to more specifically China and so basically in here he's talk he talks about how uh, President Trump said that if Canada is like delayed on signing the new trade agreement that basically he's just going to put tariffs on the Canadian imported vehicles and that'll force them to sign it and then also I think putting import tax on the um, farming industry up there as well which again will put more pressure on them to sign which then from there I think Congress has about 90 days to either approve or deny the new agreement and then from there uh, pretty much all is said and done. So right now stuff is still kind of on the air pretty much this is like the first or second step in the process of the agreement we've got the United States on board we've got Mexico on board and now all we need is is Canada from the north a eh? for 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 jobs here it's kind of a good thing because it is bringing it will bring back for instance if we're like right now if we we're only requiring I think that it was required yeah 62.5 percent and the new agreement requires 75 percent and so that agreement obviously will will force more people here in the states or in Mexico or in Canada to do that manufacturing of either the steel that goes into the cars, the electronics that goes into the car, the production assembly line or whatever it is, all that, obviously it's gonna turn it up by about 12.5%. So I would expect some US jobs to be created from this deal. Obviously it's going to hurt the world economy a little bit, especially like the areas that we do import from to make those cars. So just some it's just some ideas right there. However, what does this mean for me like moving forward? Like when I hear this news, like do I react? Do I shout out with praise? Do I like, I don't know, look at my account and scream? Do I just cut all my profits and, and run away? Like how am I reacting to this news? How am I gonna react with my like Acorns account, with my Stash account? I'm gonna continue to do, do the same thing that I've been doing. Like maybe I might make some adjustments with like what ETF I'm gonna buy moving forward into the future. Maybe I might look into like a single stock. Maybe I might look into like Chevy GMC or something like that. Maybe I'll put a little bit more money into some other ETFs on Stash or maybe I'll add an ETF on M1. But that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm gonna completely strip my strategy, run away and change it up. I'm gonna just continue to dollar cost average, make my regular deposits and do what I've been doing for the last three and a half, four years. I would love to know your thoughts. How does this affect your portfolio? Did you you know, turn green today or were you still in the red? How did that all work out? Feel free to let me know down in the comments below. I would love to see your thoughts, comments and opinions. Anyways, it's your boy, Coach Keith. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Peace out.